Hi there, Flora here with a quick video on how to calculate formal charge, uh, hopefully the easy way. Now, some of you guys in class might have been exposed to an equation where you have to count the number of bonds, divide by two, but uh, today I'm going to be showing you a very quick calculation that you can do, and that involves looking at how many uh, electrons that the atom in question has. And you basically want to do this really simple uh, subtraction, which tells you how many electrons should it have, and subtracting it by how many electrons it actually has, and that actually gives you the formal charge, which is pretty handy. So I'm going to show you this by going through a couple of examples. Now we're going to start by looking at this carbon over here. Now we know that carbon uh, is supposed to have four electrons, right? And we can see here that it's participating in four bonds and it has four electrons. So if we think back to the equation, we know that it is supposed to have four electrons and from the bonds we know that it has four electrons. So this carbon has a formal charge of zero. Whereas for this carbon over here, uh, we can immediately see that something's a little different. So, as before, this carbon is supposed to have four electrons, but this one is only participating in three bonds. So we do how many is it supposed to have minus how many does it have, four minus three is positive one. So this carbon actually has a positive one formal charge. Uh, this is actually called a carbocation, and you guys will see it sometime probably uh, down the road in your organic chemistry class. Now over here we have nitric dioxide, and first we'll be looking at this oxygen over here. Now we know that oxygen is supposed to have six electrons. And although we can't see it here, uh, this oxygen actually has three lone pairs as well. So we'll just draw them in, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it also has this electron over here which is participating in the bond. So um, it actually has seven electrons, so it's supposed to have six electron, but it only has seven, six minus seven is negative one. So this oxygen has a negative one formal charge. And last but not least, we'll finally take a look at this nitrogen over here. This nitrogen is supposed to have five electrons, but we see that it has one, two, three, and this one uh, lone electron over here. Five minus four is plus one. This nitrogen has a plus one formal charge and uh, that's really all there is to it. You can use this exact same rule for every single atom that you encounter and it's going to work perfectly. So just to recap, uh, in order to figure out the formal charge of an atom, you just take how many electrons it should have, subtract it by how many electrons it does have, and that will give you the formal charge. Thanks so much for tuning in and hopefully this helps you in chemistry I will see you next time.